So uh, today we'll be checking out the uh, new plugin that's the WooCommerce Marketplace Event Manager plugin. Now this particular extension comes uh, with an interesting feature for the admin and the marketplace vendors as both of them can add event products for any type of event like live shows, music concerts, etc. Now this particular plugin also allows the customers to add the events to the Google calendars and the customers can purchase the event products just like any other product. This plugin also reduces the hassle of purchasing the tickets for an event in multiple tedious steps and this uh, would keep customers intact to your site thereby increasing the conversion rates. Now kindly note that this particular plugin is uh, an add-on to the uh, WooCommerce Multimedia Marketplace plugin by Webpool. So, so you'll have to have that first and then you can make use of this plugin that's the marketplace event manager for the WooCommerce platform. So today we'll be uh, checking out uh, the particular plugin and uh, we'll be checking the customer's workflow and uh, then we'll be seeing how the marketplace vendors would be able to uh, create the event products uh, under the own account panel. So uh, the customers just need uh, to access your website and uh, here uh, within your web store they'll go to the upcoming events and here they'll find this particular section wherein they can search the location for the events and they can enter the search radius as well and according to the entered location and the search radius they can find the uh, particular events that are going to happen within that particular location or the radius that they have entered uh, within this particular section here so as you can see, I'd enter New Delhi and I'd set the radius as 30 and here we have the beauty pageant, uh, one of the upcoming events uh, within that particular location. Now apart from that, they can also find out the uh, particular uh, list of the upcoming events uh, within this particular page as well. And here's the beauty pageant. So let me open that up. So uh, this is uh, the what we say as the uh, event, uh, what we uh, say as the event product. Uh, let me go once uh, back uh, before proceeding further with the customers flow how they can purchase this particular uh, event ticket uh, you can see we have a buy ticket option and an add event uh, option so if I go ahead and I go for the add event uh, we'll have to sign into our uh, gmail so as to uh, basically add the event to our calendar there so I'll not be uh, proceeding further here and uh, the other one is the buy ticket we can tap here on the buy ticket now the ticket would be added into the cart but before that we have to select the options there for the ticket so here's the beauty pageant and uh, here we have the ticket type as uh, kids and women that we have created these are the custom options that we have created for the uh, for the event ticket itself uh, we have set the event location as india gate tip delhi we have set the event start time end time and the option total right now you can see is 100 according to the selection that we have made if we go for the woman uh, the selection would be changed uh, all together there and uh, now let's add it to the cart after making the selection there so we have added it into the cart here as well you can see the event info is uh, visible there uh, within the cart itself uh, here we have the uh, ticket as woman for 200 uh, rupees uh, the location is India Gate New Delhi, the event start time, the date along with the time is visible and the event end time with the date and the time is visible as you can see here. Thereafter the customers can proceed to the checkout there. You can also hover your mouse over uh, this particular section here uh, or the cart itself to the details. Uh, uh, otherwise uh, let's uh, now tap here on the proceed to checkout button. So we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, proceed to the checkout and here under the orders you can see the complete details of the event uh, there once again. So uh, let me enter the details here for the first name last name and the rest of the details uh, before we proceed to the checkout. So let's tap here on the place order button. So you can see that the order has been re uh, received and the event uh, details can be seen by the customer. Here is the order number 217, uh, the date, uh, the total that has been paid, the payment method that chosen one is uh, being displayed to the customer. Here we have the event details as well, the uh, ticket name, beauty pageant, event uh, option, we have chosen the woman ticket. Uh, the option price is 200, the event location, uh, the event start time. 
the time along with the date uh, the event end time uh, the time along with the date uh, as well so that was the customers front after the, the placing the order they can go to their my account section to check the details of the order once again if they want now let's uh, log into the ad to the uh, vendors panel and let's see how the vendors would be able to create the uh, event tickets uh, or the event products there so for that let's log on log into the vendor account panel by entering the username and the password for the same after logging into the vendor dashboard as you can see uh, here we can go to the event orders to check the orders that have been placed uh, for our event products so if I tap on that here we can see all the complete list of uh, uh, orders that have been placed here is the beauty pageant uh, total sales have been in uh, 16 the pace price was 20 from here we can tap on the view orders to view the complete list of orders that have been placed for the beauty pageant event type there now how to create the uh, event type products there so you'll have to navigate to the product section and uh, there you'll find your complete list of uh, products that you've already created here we have already created a lot of uh, event type products there as you can see uh, summer pool party beauty pageant dj night carnival event singers night so you can edit and delete any of the created ones so uh, let me give you a small gist how we can create a new event product so for that just tap here on the add product button that will bring up the section to create a new uh, product choose your category from the product type you have to choose e-tickets tap on the next button that will bring up the other section so here you'll have to enter the product name so uh, let's uh, set it as uh, test product you can enter your about or you can upload a thumbnail for the same you can set your uh, product SKU you can choose to have your regular price the base price you can also set a sale price uh, for your tickets then you can set your uh, short description as well then just tap here on the save button now I'll just give you an overview of how we can create it then I'll just edit one of the created uh, ones that we've already created so here you can see now after saving the product the product type is e-ticket the rest of the details are here now uh, we need to navigate to the e-ticket tab here you can enable the terms enter your terms and conditions for your ticket uh, choose the start date along with the time from here you can choose the time uh, you can choose the date and date and the end time for the uh, particular one then you can choose the location uh, for the uh, event there and then you can tap here on the update button uh, to uh, create your what we say as the event product type so as soon as we have saved it uh, our e-ticket has been created you can go ahead you can add custom options to it as well now let me go to the product section and let me edit one of the already created event tickets there so uh, you can see that uh, we have created the test product but that's in the draft right now so uh, let's uh, go to the uh, for example let's go to the uh, beauty page it itself let uh, let's edit it up so I'll just tap here on the edit uh, button on the actions column so here uh, uh, as I've already shown you how to uh, choose the product type save it go to ET ticket, ticket section enter your terms enter your start time end time along with the date and time date and time for the start and end of the event enter your event location go to custom options add new op uh, new option here you can create uh, ticket types as well like silver platinum gold and you can set the uh, values for each of them there as per your own requirement you can also remove any one of uh, the uh, the custom options that you've edited by tapping on the remove button and then you can tap on the update button to update your uh, particular uh, event ticket then at the storefront when you come down to the upcoming events you'll find your particular event product type as a simple product there you can find that up or uh, for example you can go to any of the event uh, types let's go to the cricket tournament for example let's tap on that so here we have the custom uh, or option that we have added for men and women men uh, we have the option total there for women we have a different final option total there so that's how easily you can create the event tickets from the vendors end 
the same can be done from the admins end as well so in the upcoming video i'll be showing you how the admin can do the same how the admin can create the event tickets from the admin backend panel very easily just like the marketplace vendors can and the rest of the workflow at the customers end once again so that was much about uh, today's uh, video tutorial for the uh, plugin that's the woocommerce multi-window marketplace event product uh, type and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then can you do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com you can raise a ticket at webcool.qdes.com you can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contacts apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead